Hello. It's ready. Hi. Cindy J here coming at you from Green Bay with another Walmart haul. And hey, if you know, you know. If you've ever uh, visited Goral World, I think that these haul videos in Goral World kind of intersect in a lot of ways. If you've ever heard of the creator, Zachary Michael, um, you know, he's a popular Girl World creator and he does a lot of um, haul reactions as well as reactions to the girls. So I'd love to get into maybe doing something along those lines, but you know, there's so many reaction channels already in that niche that what do I really have to bring to the table. So I've been thinking about it and I've got some ideas, but in the meantime, here we are with a Walmart haul. So I did one of these about a week ago. So there'll be some duplicates here, of course, you know, just your staple items. Um, you know, everybody has those just to get through the week. So start now with just a good old pastas. I like these kits. They're convenient. They're easy. You keep them in your pantry. You know, it's nice that you don't have to have them refrigerated. They last a long time. You know, hamburger helper, childhood favorite. Both my man and I like it. So that's a, a cheap and easy item to make. And, and, you know, I grew up on this stuff and I'm very fortunate to have grown up on a farm. And so we still get um, meat, beef from my parents. So that really helps with the grocery budget a lot. So I can make a hamburger helper meal uh, pretty cost effectively. And, you know, little meatballs thrown on this here angel hair, that makes a really great meal as well. And inexpensive, you know, pasta isn't necessarily the healthiest thing around, but, you know, if you need to stretch that grocery budget, you know, using it intermittent, you know, to, to stretch your budget is, is a great thing. There's a lot of things we can do with pasta. We probably eat way too much of it around here, but, um, and then one of these kits, I usually pick up one or two of these. I like these because you don't have to have the milk on hand. I do generally pick up some like that. I'm a big fan of the um, of these here. I usually pick up a couple of them each week. I make two at a time all the time because I'll eat like a, a half of a box and then my man will eat a box and a half. So, so that works out pretty well for us. So, so just all of our easy boxed items that are um, nice to you know, have on hand, shelf stable. And this is, you know, fettuccine flavored um, chicken pasta. And these are nice here. And some of these kits do um, require milk for more of the creamier sauces. I like this particular one because you, it doesn't call for milk. I mean, if I wanted to substitute, it calls for four cups of water. If I wanted to substitute one of the cups with milk to make it creamier, I could. But honestly, I like it better with just the water. And then, you know, if I don't have anything else around, this alone and some water, I've got a meal set, ready to go. I just, I like to always try to keep something on hand, you know. I never ever want to say there's nothing to eat around the house, you know. When my man comes home, he's tired, he's hungry. Like tonight, for example, um, I was, in fact, this is my second shot at doing my video. He came home early unexpectedly, which was a great treat, um, but I wasn't expecting him. So it was really nice to get to see him early, but unfortunately, he wasn't feeling good. So um, he asked for ramen, and um, that's his comfort food. And usually he'll text me ahead of time so I can get the water boiling, but... Um, no, he must have not been feeling good to just um, come home so early like that. So, so yes, we got him his ramen and, and he's resting right now. So um, he works so hard. I just hope that, um, you know, whatever bug he's got, he can shake that off. And speaking of him, it is his birthday next week as well as Valentine's Day. So um, I think last week I showed off the, the pink candy making chocolates that I had picked up and I had a lot of fun playing around with that so um, I decided to play around with that hobby a little bit more and uh, my man likes the Packers of course and so I've got the green and the yellow or green and gold so I'm going to try to make some little candies out of these for him just 
um, just for fun uh, with the little moles that I have. And these were um, four dollars each, like three ninety five, I want to say, or three ninety eight or something. And then this is a chocolate one, and this was around the same price range, around um, close to four bucks, like three ninety something. And I got these again um, with Valentine's Day coming up. I thought it would be a fun activity to do the chocolate dip strawberries. And I don't seem to see my strawberries anywhere. But yes, I have these to um, for that project, which I think will be a lot of fun to do. So for, um, for Valentine's Day itself, I got them that little Cartman pin that I had shown from a Timu haul. And then um, for his birthday, I got him that uh, ramen noodle blanket. <laughs> How ironic, I just fed him ramen tonight, and that's what's going to be on his blanket. And a few other little items that are just, you know, between us. And um, I gave him one last night because he was down, so so that was fun. I, I couldn't resist. I'm kind of <laughs> another girl world throwback. Didn't go like ALR and Destiny did on the, the Christmas of what was it, like Christmas of... 16 or 17 before destiny dumped her so um no he didn't he didn't get all of this gift <laughs> and then some cheddar cheese always nice to have you know some cheese on hand for whatever it is you're making because you know i as i mentioned i'm many times i'm a big fan of english muffins it's not that english muffins are so great it's just that they're convenient to keep in your fridge they stay good a long time but you have to toast them. Um, I never really started messing with English muffins until um, I, of all things, got a coupon one day from another grocery store in town for free English muffins, and I was showing it to him. And he was like, oh, I, it was a throwback to when he was in school years ago. And he was like, I love those. And it's like, oh, my gosh, I've been with him for how long? And I didn't know, well, they've been a staple in our fridge ever since that. Um, but yeah, he loves English muffins because he used to eat these when he was in school, so it reminds him of that. And, um, you know, you can make sandwiches. Like, if you've just got some eggs, I have many a times just, uh, I'll just fry an egg. So, you know, most people try to keep eggs on hand. I know I do because that it's a good source of protein and... Um, it's one of the things that both he and I will eat for, you know, his eggs. He's a big fan. He likes them fried, boiled, you know, you name. Actually, French toast. I haven't made that in a while, so I, I should, uh, I could prepare that for him one of these days. But, yeah, eggs are great to have on hand. I'll usually boil, you know, 10, 12 of them or so. That's why I like to get the, the bigger pack and then just always have some boiled ones on hand. But, yeah, fry up an egg, throw on a little cheese and you know you butter you gotta butter up your english muffin real good you know give it that nice flavor and yep get that melted cheese one egg so even without meat you still have your yourself a pretty nice breakfast sandwich and this is under two dollars like i said it's like one of the last decent one of the last great values you can get are these gosh darn english muffins so this was in the range of i want to say three dollars for um oh 346 346 for a dozen and a half eggs man those eggs fluctuate so much in price so 346 for an 18 pack which really isn't terrible i mean at its peak that was like what it was for what a dozen but you know it, eggs are such a staple here so yep cheese butter need those things cheese butter you know, half a gallon of milk, you know, to people who, you know, bellyache, oh, you know, I'm, you know, hungry, I can't make food, you know, stretch, like, there's this one couple that comes online, and they live stream begging for money for hours for food, and, you know, 10 bucks, for 10 bucks, I mean, this was a buck 68 for the, um, no, but I mean, I could have got, just got a dozen eggs. That would be a couple, you know, maybe two and a half bucks. And just, I don't have to get the whole thing of butter. I mean, here's a hack. If you're really that hard up, go to a gas station. And, you know, a lot of times they'll have free condiments. And nobody's going to stop you from grabbing a few pats of butter and a few salt packets if you're that hard up. 
that you can't, you know, get a thing of butter thrown in there. But um, yeah, just some eggs, milk, cheese, some form of a, a bread, and you know, going on and on about the English muffins here. I mean, all these products got the English muffins, cheese, eggs, butter, and milk. They are all great value. So, you know, I probably get a few bucks of savings there, but at the end of the day, it's, it is what it is. I mean, Dean milk isn't any different than good, you know, milk is milk. So whatever, certain things, I want the name brand, but most things great value is fine. So um, more produce, I mean, man, oh man's fruit is so expensive. This was almost $5 for this little thing of blueberries and blueberries are even a little iffy this time of year. They aren't always the sweetest, but I like them and they're really good for you with the antioxidants allegedly i'm not a doctor so i can't prove that personally so isn't that what they say whoever they are um some ras another expensive one this was um 354 bucks i mean and this is a tiny container tiny tiny and um there's an apple store yeah an apple store it's a store that sells real apples here in town and so I wanted to go there today, but I just didn't make it. I ran out of time. So I want to go tomorrow. So I just got one apple to tide me over for tonight because I'm in the mood for some apples. But this apple store, they carry all kinds of different varieties. And there's this one variety um, the, that I really like. It's uh, Concord apples, and they're a little on the softer side. So, or Cortland, Cortland apples and they're on the softer side, so that'll be nice for my teeth. This one will be a little firmer, so I'll just have to cut them in really small slices. But um, yeah, that'll be a nice treat. And um, my, my brother always jokes around my, he has, his part of his diet, daily diet, he has two apples and a container like this of raspberries every day as part of his overall diet. So I, I'm on my little brother's diet here tonight with my, my fruit but oh if you want to treat these it's I guess I thought it was yogurt when I bought it the first time is Hagen Dazs vanilla bean and um, you know of course when you see Hagen Dazs you think oh that should be tasty oh it's tasty it's cultured cream shockingly it's only 190 calories for this container so it, it tasted like it ought to be a lot more but oh my goodness this dip your apple in this oh it, it's very delicious and i would assume a somewhat you know healthy ish treat i mean it does get frustrating at a point so i i got two of those because i'm going to the apple store tomorrow so i want to have another one on hand for my portland's but doesn't it get frustrating at a point where it's like everything's bad for you like i know that there's this big push on you know like with plastics and stuff hence i feel bad even having this in my shopping bag but the plastic becomes a big problem when you microwave it and thankfully my man eats his stuff cold so he never microwaves his stuff so i don't worry about him getting plastic cancer contamination but like if he would microwave his stuff i would insist on switching over to glassware but um Fortunately, neither one of us microwave stuff. Like I would use it for um, a fruit tray and that's why I like the little separate sections here. Like if I, because I need to start going to the office and, you know, spending some more time down there so I can, you know, make my fruit tray to go or make a little salad here in the bigger space and, you know, cut up some fruit or whatever I want cheese in there. So. Yeah, just don't microwave them, and then you won't die. <laughs> and then, of course, you, know, you gotta wipe your ass. So this is always like one of the most expensive things on my receipt, too. It always makes me laugh when something that I'm literally going to throw away is one of the most expensive things. Let's see, this is like seven bucks. Well, um, 
I got four things of Gatorade. I think these are probably a little more expensive. These are $7.80 a piece, and this is one of my man's staple items. And because he's not been feeling well, he's been very dehydrated. So he has just been like, oh my God, sometimes during the night, he'll just get up and drink like two of these in a shot. Um, but he likes the Zero Cal. I tried mixing them for a while. I would just make my own Gatorade. I got this powder, and I, I did that. But see, the powder doesn't come in the Zero, unfortunately. And, you know, he prefers the Zero. So in a pinch, you know, I keep one, you know, it's sealed. And I, I like to keep, you know, a few shelf-stable things on hand. And this is one of them. So, you know, if... Uh, we ever had some issue hey at least he'll have his gatorade for a while you know that shelf stable stuff stays good for a long time so so yes four of these i think i mentioned like i said this is my second take so i can't remember what i had said on my first shot but um 207 bucks man oh man 207 dollars for this stuff i'm showing you one Really, I didn't expect to get all that much today. I really was mainly going for the um, the Gatorade because of him being so thirsty. I noticed we were running low, so I wanted to replenish it both at home and the office. And so that'll be on my list tomorrow to get some Gatorade over there. But yeah, shoot, that adds up. And then, um, oh, these little... Um, cookie dough bites and I've, I've picked these up for him before it's hit or miss if these are in the deli at the walmart but i grabbed these these are about three bucks which shockingly i don't think is that bad for the little dessert but it's cute things like this in fact i'm gonna pop this in the fridge right away because it seems like they're getting sticky um you can always tell if something's been in because i can just set it in the fridge on like a different shelf and I did that with the cookie dough bite. Oh, and I noticed that they always they always disappear. So so they're a hit. He likes the cookie dough bites. They are pretty good. I've tried them too. They're a good treat. And let's see here. And then oh I think I got one of these left. this was two bucks on clearance for two bucks at sparkling apple cider. So I, it was very tasty. And again, for two bucks, I thought, why the heck not? So I got another one. In fact, I'm gonna get it in the fridge right now too, so it can chill. And I'll probably save that to sit on the mug and drink it while I wait for throughout the day. Because the only drawback is it's that pop top. So you can't, you know, it'll lose its fizz. You're basically, you know, if you're drinking it yourself, you're committed to drinking it all right away. Whatever, it's a dollar bottle of sparkling cider. This was a buck seventy-eight. Some minute made fruit punch. Yes, I know this is nothing but sugar water. This is awful, awful. Um, but it's so tasty, and so I'll do like you know half and half with this and some water to cut it. But I mean, it is pure sugar. And, um, I mean, when you look at the ingredient, it is like, wow. And this is being like peddled as supposedly being healthy. There is nothing healthy about this, but again, it's a tasty item. And then let's see. Oh, I got these little snack bags, a hundred pack because, um, as I was showing off my, uh, plans to do the candy making, I thought, oh, I'll probably need something to put them in. I can get some of those little cute ones off of Timu, but eh, whatever. I, I figured that the zipper ones might be a little bit better because, you know, those T, everything from Timu, oh, shoot, you know, it'll, the, the quality is hit or miss. And anybody who has ever uh, ordered from Timu would agree, I would think. Um, some hairspray, full control. You got the fine, thin hair, just ugh. That's the one bad thing about having very fine, thin hair is it's always, you know, out of control and, you know, hairspray is a must. Otherwise, it's like all day. And then um, on Sunday, I, I like to clean all my appliances at once, my dishwasher, my garbage disposal, disposal and my laundry machine. And I had noted, oh, shucks, I was all out of um the chemical to clean 
out my dishwasher or you know it's like the stuff you pour in there so I figured I might as well pick up all of them so this I got for the dishwasher so um, there's some dishes in it now but after I run it I'll freshen up my dishwasher and then I did use the last one for my garbage disposal on Sunday, but, you know, it never hurts to do it again, so I just picked up another one. And then I totally forgot, I still had um, three packets left in my cabinet when I got home. I saw that, but again, you know, this stays on the shelf, and they recommend doing it once a month, so, you know, they'll get used up. A little on the expensive side, though. Um, I would say these are about, there's like about 10 bucks for these. So, and this one was $8.50, and it was actually a clearance priced item, and this was in the $5 range. And I mean, just, you know, these three, you know, boring dishwasher and garbage disposal and laundry machine clean, but it's got to be done, you know. If you stay on top of it, then your appliances will serve you for long time and smell fresh and all that good stuff you know what did it say uh, an ounce of maintenance or a pound of per ounce of prevention is a pound of cure and it's very very true and then oh i got sucked into the tic tac or whatever craze with the scrub daddies well i thought you know what i'm gonna give scrub mommy a chance i'm gonna check it out i mean it it seems like it gets good reviews but again this was another splurge too this thing was almost five bucks it was four or something like 450 i mean for a damn scrubber so i don't know i figured i didn't i'm not into like the stanley craze or anything like that but yes i got sucked into the the scrub mommy but you know if it means that my toilet's clean cool and then Static Guard, that's another must for me. Again, I know you're not supposed to spray it directly on your hair, but because it's so thin this time of year when everything's so dry, it's I have no other option. And sometimes after washing, like especially blankets and stuff, they get so staticky, like you can literally see the spark as you pull them apart. And it'll give you a zinger, so. I like to keep static guard. I like to keep one upstairs and downstairs. And um, I'm, I know this took my last bottle when it's done. And then some stain remover, like I had mentioned. I had some dental work, and one thing was an extraction, and um, it bled a lot. And so I had to get my jacket taken care of. So, um, but this product, in my opinion, works pretty good. It took all the, you know, I have a it was a white fluffy collar that was all full of blood so um it took it right out so but i used up the bottle so this is a keep it on hand you know blood and dairy and ice cream and um you know my man he has to wear you know nice work shirts a lot and um you know he'll drip occasionally so I need to keep those stain treatments on hand for him because he gets like, you know, the really nice shirts and stuff and you want to keep them nice. And speaking of shirts, I got, this was $2.88, but I just love these comfy tank tops. They're stretchy and they just go with everything. I was going to grab a medium, but they didn't have any mediums. They just went right down to small and small's too small for me. So this is a large but it's just meant to be comfortable, so I can live with that. Because I noticed one of my black, you know, and the black just goes with everything as an undershirt, and one of them was getting kind of stretched out to the point that it might need to be retired, so, so that'll be a replacement. And then, um, and then even though I don't know if I will be able to, but I think it's just because I can't. I'm craving chips and salsa so much. So um, I got these chips because it said that they were the, the thins, right? So I'm hoping that just if I eat, because my extraction was here. And oh yeah, compared to the other day when I made a video, I thought it looked it looks way less swollen. 
but um, if I chew on this side just very slow, um, I splurged on it. This is, I guess, kind of the name brand here. And they did have great value tortilla chips, but they're real thick looking. And I don't know, they just didn't, these look, you know, that's thinner, kind of like the ones you get at rest, the restaurant. So I did splurge on this one. I could have done a great value option and saved probably close to two bucks. The great value ones were pretty cheap, but I wanted these. And these are what I got. And this is about five bucks for something for this bag. But um, do they have it? Yeah, they don't have a, a, sometimes, you know, they'll have a, a price printed right on. And speaking of that, um, munchos, these aren't really chips, they're like a chip product, but you know, they're like soft and my man really likes these as a kind of a treat or a snack once in a while. So I'll pop them in his mail or mailbox, in his lunch box for a, for a treat or a snack. But munchos, they used to, if anybody who knew, you know, likes munchos, it was $2.28, I think was always the price. $2.28 was printed right on the bag. So a retailer had no choice but to charge you $2.28 or less. But I noticed the $2.28 is gone. <laughs> that is no longer printed on Munchos. So um, I looked at the receipt. Sure enough, Munchos regular. I can't even see it, but $2.58. $2.58, if you can see it, whatever. Take my word for it. Don't. <laughs> it's a stupid bag of chips. <laughs> it's funny. That just a few, you know, from the, the $28 to the 58 you know 20 30 40 30 yeah it's only 30 cents but still 30 cents here 30 it adds up every little bit i mean like i said i was shocked when it was over 200 when i was at the checkout and i was like wow but you know it's all these cleaning products and you know stuff like this you know this five bucks this was six dollars six dollars for a thing of hairspray I used to pay what, maybe two two fifty for a thing of hairspray. Come on, six. Uh, but I needed it, you know. So you know, all of those types of items add up. You know, the cleaning products and stuff like that. You know, just the the stuff that you need to just kind of keep the house going. Oh, here are those strawberries that I was mentioning and. Yeah, they look so nice and big and, you know, just ripe and perfect for, you know, doing that candy project, dipping in there, you know, trying trying that project at least. And if it works out well, I can always go next week. Although next week it might be a little harder to find big strawberries like this. So, whatever. Um, this is what I got for now. And if I can't find more next week. And that's the way it's gonna be. And then some mushrooms for my guy. Mushrooms and a cucumber are like two of the very few vegetable items that he will eat. So I always like to grab a little bit of this to, you know, throw it into his meals wherever I can. And then of course the pre-made set, you know, one of my cheats as I like to say, because you know, he could just grab it and go if I didn't have a chance to make, you know, a proper meal. I like to make him salads, and I got this big thing of greens, so I'm going to make an effort to make him some salads throughout the week, you know, with the eggs and some mushrooms and all that. And, um, you know, it's a lot cheaper, of course, but it's very time-consuming cutting all that stuff up, but it's a labor of love. It's worth every chop. If, you know, if he's eating a salad as opposed to, you know, some gas station food because he's on the road a lot too. And, you know, he's going to eat gas station food inevitably anyway. So if I can try to, you know, minimize it as much as possible, that's great. And some junk food cotton candy. This one was $4. I felt guilty getting it. I mean, it's a pretty big container but these used to be two dollars i know that because i love cotton candy and um i would buy a couple at a time when they were two bucks it wasn't that long ago that they were only two dollars four dollars so well i got my one 
That'll be my Valentine present to myself. And then I went to the deli and they had this deal where they had like a snack meal where you got one side and one chicken tender. So I thought, oh, I could try to make a like a salad for myself. So I got the one chicken tender and I'm going to cut it up and put it on a salad. And these are supposed to be cheese bites. They are just like all breading and icky, so that was a waste. So I don't know, 250. I thought I was clever, but um, not so much because I thought, oh, that um, chicken tender, you know, it looks like it's nice and big. It'll be a lot of meat, but you know, no matter what, meat's expensive. I was looking for, you know, just some chicken, but just, you know, thighs with bones in even is really expensive. And I don't want to mess with that. And, you know, if you just get plain breasts, it's expensive. It's expensive. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I'm so lucky I don't have to buy beef. So it hurts when, you know, things like, well, chicken and stuff. And I pick up some, like, junk meats, as we call them, two to have on hand. Some sausages here. Just He really loves sausage and mushrooms. So sometimes I'll just make him a, a sausage and mushroom. Like, just saute some sausages and throw them on the on the little sausages and not bother with like a bun or anything like that and he likes that and then this is nice because they are pre-cooked and they um you know have a pretty good shelf life in the fridge before needing to be um frozen where is the best by date may 6th that's by may 6th i mean they'll be used long before that but I kind of like these two. I mean, I'm good for maybe, like, I'll take out three and I'll eat a half of one. And then the other two and a half, I'll, you know, they work really great for cutting up and, you know, putting in just a salad or make a sandwich with it. Or um, the other day, I just cut little chunks of cheese and chunks of the sausages and, you know, made it like little finger foods in one of his little compartments. So, you know, it's just when you got to make a... Or, you know, when you make a lunch every single day for somebody else, you know, it's like, oh, hard sometimes to come up with, you know, you get in the rut where it's just like the same stuff over and over. Well, you know, you get sick of stuff too, like anything. And like, I'll get the same things over and over. And so I, I'm always looking for, you know, new ideas because, you know, I'm sure you've heard of the thing called uh, decision fatigue and something as simple as, you know, meals. I mean, he is so busy and something as simple as just having his food just there and ready for him, you know, it's just one less thing he's got to think about and mess around with, you know, he doesn't have to stop and make the decision. Do I want to stop at Quick Trip? Do I want to go to the drive-thru? Do I want this? You know, it's like some, you know, the, the age old, you know, one, two people, we want to go out to eat. Where do you want to go out and eat? Well, I don't know. What are you hungry for? I don't know. What do you want? So, um, I just, um, I just make them what I make them. And I just, if it didn't, you know, he, he knows he can make a request. He hasn't made a request probably in like four years. He just, sometimes I think he's even, uh, He'll come home, like if he comes home and I'm already resting, I'll hear him go in the fridge and peek. Sometimes I think he's curious, oh, what's for lunch tomorrow? And sometimes he dips into it and then uh, he doesn't have much of a lunch for the next day. But And I got this thing here, it's on clearance, 358 artichoke, spinach, tomato, flatbread pizza. Artichoke pizza is really good. I had an artichoke pizza from uh, Papa Murphy's. Uh, a little while ago, and the, I'll tell you what, artichoke on pizza is good. It really works. So, um, I thought, why not try it for three fifty eight? My only complaint is it's a creamy garlic cheese sauce. And, you know, I like marinara, no matter what. But I suppose marinara, you know, because of it being the um, artichoke. But, you know, Papa Murphy's had marinara, and it was just fine. So, well, whatever. 358, I guess I'll find out. And then, um, oh, I, I want to try and eat some of these salads too. And I like French dressing. So, you know, this that's why I got such a big container to try to get me motivated to also be eating the salads. And so I got a 
New thing of French dressing, I cleaned my pantry out or tried to organize it to a degree the other day and threw away a lot of dressings that, you know, I bought with the best intentions and just never got around to using. And then it reaches a point where it's like, oh, I don't want to, you know, it's like just past. And so I'm starting fresh and new, brand new, one bottle, not gonna get sucked into buying three different flavors and having them get bad on me oh and then my beloved pineapple chunks which because I'm too chicken shit to use the knife I'm just oh I got just such a fear of slipping with one of those knives because I could get a whole pineapple for two bucks instead of paying almost five for having this all pre-cut up but I'm just I don't want to cut myself and you know what I want the damn pineapples so I made there's this again a splurge right there and I made I want the pineapples by gully I'm just gonna get them all pre-cut and then I got some salsa and I know it's kind of overkill I wish that they would sell this in a smaller container but I like the salsas that are from the deli, the ones that have to be refrigerated. Well, obviously, because they don't have um, the preserve. The salsas that you buy off the shelves, well, they're shelf stable because they're full of preservatives. So, um, you know, I prefer to get these because it's a little bit, I mean, it's still not perfect, but it's a little bit less, but it's got to stay refrigerated. But it's this big, huge bucket. But I really like this mango. But mango alone, it's too sweet. So I think I explained this last time I got these. Yeah, where I got to mix them to make it just right. But, you know, I'll just pop some in the freezer. And I'll be good on salsa for a, a mighty long time. And then, oh, this here for a very, very important guy. I live with two very important guys. And this is for one of them some kitty foods so and got him some treats and he likes these are these little like squeezy things where you're supposed to like squeeze them and diesel doesn't want to mess with that he's like just put it in a bowl and let me eat it you know it's supposed to be like a bonding thing where you know you come with it diesel don't play around with that shit <laughs> diesel's too busy right and speaking of diesel, I'm in the side eye, so I think I'm going to prepare his... Oh, he's got to run my way, but he's not allowed on the island, so I'll have to have him come on. He is allowed on the table because, my man, I don't generally eat, like, at the table on the regular. Um, we only do basically like maybe once a year. Otherwise, we just go downstairs and there's a TV or we just eat at the island. So we do allow diesel to, you know, some people are going to be like, ew, 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 you let your cat on the table. You know what? Yeah, I do. Okay, so what of it? My cat, he likes to hang out on the table. Let's see here. There he is. So that's where he eats he is not allowed on the island where i cook okay let's get you taken care of buddy hey hi <laughs> hey buddy he's not interested he only wants his food i was hoping for a better diesel cameo but he's been very patiently waiting for his his food but um but anyways, so so yes, he, he does get to have his his meal here. And it also is nice because when he's on the table, he can see what I'm doing. When I am here on my island cooking or, you know, in my cupboards, he can still see what I'm doing, but he's not around any of the areas that I cook. So so again, come for me, my cat eats at the table, but uh, you know, he's part of the family. Well, hey, thanks for checking out my, ugh, I don't know what way this frame is flipping. So thanks for checking out my long-winded Walmart haul. And uh, yeah, I hope to come at you with something else one of these days. I'm really, really considering 
giving a shot to a reaction video just kind of a, um, in girl world in general I've got an idea but let me know is anybody did anybody end up here as a result of girl world since I hang out in those YouTube streets sometimes maybe you recognize my my handle Cindy J so so hey Cindy J from Green Bay here to say have a good day thanks <laughs>